go. Hello. Cool. Hello. Tony Horvath. Hi. Greg Blaney. So. Alex Emil. <laughs> That's me. How many times do we have to do this? Uh, Boy... Once more after this. Yep. Yeah. Once more after this. Um. So we just watched Ubisoft's press conference, and of course I forgot to tweet it. So let me do that. So let's let's kick things off. Let's just talk post show right now. South Park is back in your yep. face, in your face, All in your no butt. Business. No announced platforms or even a release window, but I presumably when it's finished and on PS4 and Xbox One. Yep. Uh, what do you think, Greg? More South Park. It was funny. It met it itself. It made fun of you know game stuff. South Park's good at doing that. Tony. Uh, you know, like, the first game was pretty awesome. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the South Park style. Like, the visual style or the, the comical yes. style? Yes. Both. Um, more so the, the comedy than the visual. Um, but I, I would give this new game a shot, for sure. Yeah, I mean, once again, I played uh, the first few hours of the, the South Park. The Sot. Of, the Sot. The Sot. Sick of Truth. And uh, I was like, this is South Park. I got a couple laughs out of it, but I know this isn't for me. Yeah. And I walked away, respecting what it was, what it does. It's a good... What it's it a, does. What it does. It's a great, excellent video game uh, for people who like South Park. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you never actually played the first, Greg. No, I watched people on YouTube play it. I thought it was really funny. Yeah. So you think you'll uh, you'll actually hop on this one? Maybe. I'm trying to pull I'm, up. I, I like South Park. I think what they do is really funny. Yeah, they're uh, they got Matt Stone, and Trey Parker out there. Yep. Um, making fun of shit. Making fun of shit, dropping f bombs like they're commas. Doing uh, doing Matt Stone, and Trey Parker things. Yep. Um. So that was big. No one. I don't. I didn't expect that. Nope. Not at all. So then Eve, our good friend Eve. Eve. Oh. Uh, came up on stage and was like, hey, we're going to drop our surprise of this show right now. They announced For Honor. Uh, yes. For which Honor. is a third-person action uh, four-player co-op game. 4v4, looks like. Yep. You, you are fighting on uh, battlefields across the world. Uh, what's that, CAC TV? Yep. Uh, says, hi, Al Fighter. Hello. Who are the other two? I did this already. Greg Blaney right here on my right. Hi, I'm Alex. <laughs> and that's Tony. <laughs> I'm Alex. He's still Tony. He's just like, muscle. <laughs> uh, so, For Honor, you were really high on this when you saw this. Me, yes. Yeah. It looked really fucking good. <laughs> Tony, what do you think of it? That game looks fucking badass. Dude. Yeah, it does, right? Um, The sword play looks awesome. Yeah, they, uh, they, they introduced, like, when... When you're like going through like the mobs of just the the minions, you just you cut them down in one hit. But when you get to another player, you you like take this stance, and it's like a duel, right? You have to duel to the death. You have to kind of be careful with your moves. You got to block at the right time. You have to block in the right direction. Um, when it was two on one, uh, you could tell like the odds were definitely stacked against you, and it takes multiple hits to bring down another player. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Looks cool. I thought yeah. it looked really cool. I, yeah. I have. To, it's a game that I think I need to get my hands on before I can make a like final judgment about it. Yeah. Like, how does it feel? Yeah, because it could just feel really shitty, but it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's a really good chance that with control, like those controls, could just be, you know, it looked great, but just it doesn't actually play that way. Yeah, and it's 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 knights, Vikings, and samurai battling once against uh, another. I wonder if there'll be like a four v four v four. Mm-hmm. And three-way mm-hmm. battle with that that could be really cool uh looks cool they all look a little different and like sieges are happening i wonder how how much there is to a match of that game yeah like, like is there a siege are there objectives with i was kind of positing that while we were watching like do you like have to help your siege units break through a barrister to get and capture a keep or a castle or the is it just um just like you fighting the other players and killing the other players it had a lot of um, Dynasty Warrior esque elements to it. Yeah, what with like the just tons of like mobs, like like yeah. minions just kind of running around. Except um, for fighting NPCs, you're fighting another real player. Uh, Justin, uh, our friend Sigma Omega in the chat says you have to change stances to fight with, which interests me so much, 
at least uh, that's what it looks like to me. Which you know, it's a good point. It it does seem pretty pretty cool. Um, yep. I uh, I definitely definitely think For Honor looks cool, and they're uh, they're launching a beta soon. It sounds like. Um, then they uh, they showed some of the division. Um, yes. Which is, as we know from Microsoft press conference, coming to in beta form to Xbox One in December, and then PS4 and PC early next year. Mm-hmm. And that's coming out March eighth. Yep. They showed a showed a little demo of that, um, which showed kind of like they went to this dark zone, which I guess is like PvP areas, and they met some other players. These this group of three, they met some other players. They killed some NPCs with them. They hung out with them for a while. Then they fucked over the other players. And then when they were all weakened up, one of the players on the initial team fucked over the other two players on his team. Stealing all that gear. Took all the loot and made a run for it, uh, which definitely implies there's a lot of uh, a lot of depth there. Tony, yeah. you you were really into it too. It looks like a great game to play with like friends and a really shitty game to play by yourself. See, yeah. I wonder because it's an action RPG, and it's, so it's like loot based, and you get upgrade your equipment. If the world is interesting enough to explore, I think that could still be fun too. I, I mean, yes, but uh, it, it'd have to be like really, really good because like you also have to deal with all the other people. Yeah, and just people in games like that are gonna always be you know like but, either nice or super dicks. But like again, they they were specifically in what they refer to as the dark zone. We don't know necessarily how the going into other players' games works, but I pre- presume that the Dark Zone are PvP areas specifically, so you can avoid that if you didn't want to. Yeah, and that would that would fix that problem. So. Yeah. Uh, it looked really impressive. It continues to look excellent, and I, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I really want to play that game. Yeah. Like, The Division from day one as, like, an RPG, like a loot-based RPG has always been on my radar. Yeah. Um... Ubisoft announced Anno, Anno to uh, 2205. Uh, I'm not super into the city building kind of stuff, but you know, kind of looks neat. Yeah. Yep. And you can uh, you can continue to build your city onto the moon. Yeah. Which is pretty dope. Greg, you want to keep the chat so, up because the yeah. Sorry, I was checking to see if there was any other stuff that was being announced. Um, yeah, I, I'm I've, I've got a feed up here, so um, yeah, that's cool. Jason Derulo took the stage for Greg's favorite part of the press conference. Jason Derulo! Jason oh. Derulo. And yeah, then we all just danced. And by that, we all just stared at our phones. And Yo, I danced after because Justin was, was giving me shit. I watched the whole thing. I watched most of it. Yeah. Tony was doing some auditions in his fucking computer, though. I had to... It's the, the hardest fucking... Don't worry about it. I don't believe you. Um, I, I wasn't doing it. Someone wanted me to go to theirs. Trackmania Turbo. Track... That looked fun. Not Trackmania 2. Sorry, sorry. Um, Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max. Oh, that. Yeah. Which was a cat with a gun riding a unicorn breathing fire. Which is pretty much all you have to say about this. It's fun. I'm glad they're doing silly DLC for that game. Rainbow Six Terrorist Hunt returns. Tarot Hunt. That Tarot looked hunt. neat. <laughs> I like Rainbow Six. I like Siege. I like everything that they're doing with it. Terrorist Hunt's really fun playing against NPCs. NPC is he's a lot smarter than in Vegas, so I'm interested to see is how that, it's going to play. Is that the whole game, those terrorist things? No. No. Yeah. I think that's the only reason I would want to play that game. No, it sounds so. like there's a single-player campaign and uh, also PvP. And multiplayer. PvP being yes. multiplayer, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> um, well, then there's PvE and PvP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's, single, there's a campaign, PvE, PvP. Yeah, and they're... they're the the Terra Hunt they showed was uh, PVE it was they were playing against AI, um, and that looked, that it seemed cool like it looked fun. Again, assuming all the moving parts are working together, mm-hmm. it's gonna be fun. I imagine if they're not, it's just not gonna be that fun. Yeah. Um. So getting the crew together is a big part of that game, kind of like Evolve and a lot of the other co op shooters that have been coming out recently. Yep. Um, Justin says that mode they shade showed looked uh, fun, and I agree with Tony. The only one I want to play. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I like the PvP, like the multiplayer uh, stuff that they've shown up until now. Mm-hmm. Um. Then Trackmania Turbo. Look cool. Looks real cool. I'm dope. Dope. Hashtag dope. Hashtag dope. Uh, Trackmania has obviously been on PC forever. Bring it to consoles and level editor to consoles, so that's cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. For Honor, Rainbow Six Siege Beta. Yep. Rainbow 
Twitter, six siege baby Kogi boy. Oh, uh, Coast, uh, Coast Recon. Yeah, so they clo- closed out with another surprise, and like not only did we like announce some new IPs, we also like revitalizing our existing IPs. So they showed off a four-player tactical cooperative demo, Ghost Recon Wildlands announced. Oh, Wildlands, Wild Run, Wildlands. Yeah, that looks really fun. So they 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 said it's like Europe, North America, South America, and Africa, I think. Uh, and Europe. I said Europe. Oh, that's okay. the first one I said. Bad. Um, so huge immersive open worlds. They showed you just like walking around the world. They zoomed out. They did the Ubisoft zoom out and showed like a bunch of multiplayer events happening everywhere. Um, seems like very cooperative focused. Now, open world. Completely. You played the last Ghost Recon game, Greg, and you weren't super Future high on it. No, Future Soldier. I was high on it. I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. I believe I said I did. Um, I should remember you not playing that much of it. I, pl- I ended up playing most of it, yeah, actually. Um, and I recently played it again. I was like, man, this game's really fun. Uh, me and my brother, uh, he wanted to play uh, Rainbow Six. And I was like, I really don't feel like playing Rainbow Six. Let's try uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. And we played a cooperative stuff, like uh, Siege Mode. Hmm. Uh, and I thought it was really good. I, it's really fun to play. The weapons uh, are really uh, nice and they're solid. The gameplay is solid. Yeah. Um, so having it in an open world with vehicles to be able to run around uh, sounds really fun. It sounds just like a, a really neat thing to be able to do. Yeah. Um, however, I'm not really big on the crew aspect of it, where they're just kind of like making it open. Here's things that are going on everywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like you could just drive around and like meet up a few people and start talking back and forth, and then like, hey, let's go do this thing. Yeah, yeah. Which well, is kind of cool. Like, let's, let's uh, organically just kind of get together and go do a mission together. Yeah, like you're just in a town somewhere, and you're like, maybe they'll have like spots where in the town there's like, Oh, you can go here, and you can buy new weapons and stuff. Well, maybe you and like several other people are doing that at the same time. You're like, uh, hey, you, you, you want to go do this thing that I'm about to go do? Yeah, like, yeah. Or they could give you hints and tips and stuff like that. Like, oh, just remember if you go do this that you're going to have to, you know, just yeah. stuff like that. And which they sh- is kind of cool. They showed one mission, uh, which they, they refer to as the White Hat Operation, where they had to kill this guy with a white hat, or uh, take him down, I should say. And one of them, you, you see him like, take him out like immediately uh and then like the the bad guys the cartel drives away in a truck full of the drugs and they chase after it and the other they they go in at night they wait till nighttime they mm-hmm. take him out stealthily they kidnap uh white hat and they leave the drugs um and in the third they ambush them take the drugs and leave white hat for dead uh because without the drugs uh he's gonna get in trouble with his boss um, so they, they, they kind of imply that there's there's more layers to the world. It kind of remind me a little bit of Dishonored in a lot of ways because in, in Dishonored you have marks, um, but you can do other things uh, that instead of killing them basically leaves them for dead, gets yeah. them out of the way. Um, so that was that was interesting. Uh, Tony, you, you are also you seem pretty impressed by that as well. Yeah, it definitely looks neat. Like. Um... It kind of looks like what I enjoyed about the heists in GTA V. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So without the, you know, the whole it being a heist, it's kind of like the opposite. Yeah, Yeah. an an operation. Yeah. Um, Yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of stuff that you liked here, Tony. Yeah, uh, I think Ubisoft did a pretty sweet job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested to see how, like, if you can designate yourself as a sniper and be like, oh, I want to join up with these guys. These guys all have machine guns. Like, I can be your designated sniper or whatever, and you can just, like, run up to the side of a hill and help them out and pick people off or whatever. Mm Mm-hmm. Or, like, you can designate yourself as specific things. I think that would be cool. Yeah. Like, sniper, assault, gunner. It looked cool. Like, the thing is, for me, I don't know. There's something about that separates this Ghost Recon game from The Division that makes The Division look more interesting. And I think that's, like, the loot aspect to it, the RPG. Like, yeah. you're, you're getting levels. You're going up levels. You're probably dropping skill points and this you're stuff. You're collecting gear. You're, get, you're getting and gear and loot, like, new armor and new piece attachments for your weapons and stuff that interests me more than just like the kind of like bare bones but fun tactical experience of like ghost recon or siege siege still looks good i I, i'm still interested in that uh but you know of there were three of those experiences you know like yeah they they gave you quite a plethora of options the division uh you know the siege and also now this ghost recon game of the three the division still is the most interesting to me, 
But like, if you are looking for a cooperative tactical game, which I know you always are, mm-hmm. this seems like they had a lot to show you. Even the for Honor, it was a four v four tactical co op experience. Yeah. Um. So it seems like Ubisoft's definitely pushing that, which is cool. Um, I don't know. I'm curious. They did not show a demo of Assassin's Creed. And that's insane. I feel like you can't. Yeah, not... it was just a cinematic, which yeah, is kind of ridiculous. I feel like you can't not demo Assassin's Creed, at least at somebody's press conference, after Unity, especially. We'll have to see. Um, And, I, yeah, I, I said. We still have Sony left. So. I said while we were watching that that might mean that they're going to be at Sony's. Because Call of Duty is going to be at Sony. And a lot of people are su- suspecting that. So, I, Sony's going to have a big 30, third party push. Yeah, I think that they will be in trouble if they don't. Agreed. Yeah. So, they need to show that game, make sh- show people like this is why you should be excited about this. Yeah, because it's hard to get your hopes up for something after Unity's disappointment. So. Yeah, yeah, especially. Um, okay, I think that wraps up our post show. Now we're going to be back in uh, oh, we got an hour and, hour and a half, just about. Um, to, to get hype before Sony, and Sony's the big one, two hours. Again, we're going to be talking over that. That's going to be the longest one we've done since, uh, yet. and uh, going to be fun on the button, guys. It's going to be fun. Sony's got a lot of time to fill, but they've got a lot of games to show. I have a feeling um, a lot of third-party things we haven't seen yet. Yep. Like Call of Duty and like Assassin's Creed, I think. so. Um, and like Persona 5, please. And hopefully Persona 5. Just keep your fingers crossed. Danganronpa 3. Um, so... Get excited for that. We'll be back. Uh, we're going to go get dinner. And uh, we will be back on twitch.tv forward slash Irrational Passions again very soon.